Hello, I'm Andrew Lissim and welcome back to a sponsored Let's Play of Scythe Digital Edition. Uh, so, this is sponsored by Asmodi Digital, who make a lot of digital board games. And uh, you can find a link down below to the game and information about it. But of course, because it is sponsored, there'll be some sort of a bias on my part. Even if it's only an unconscious bias. So I'm going to try and keep my opinion out of it as much as I can. And I'll let you make up your own decision based on the footage you see here. Of course, I do actually own the physical board game. So there will be a little bit of opinion anyway, because I do own that already. So after our first uh, run through, in which I explained basically every move, uh, tried to make sure that we understood all of the options and so on and how to play the game, uh, I'm going to run through a second time, but we're going to play a different faction. We're going to play a little bit more, you know, uh, less less tutorialized and a bit more, let's try and win. Uh, admittedly, we did win last time, which kind of undercuts that. Uh, ooh, it's really hot in here. I think having an office now, which I can just close up, means that... It just gets really warm, because the computer's doing all the rendering. Ah, Wow. Who needs a boiler, eh? Uh, yeah, energy bills. By the way, as a YouTuber, half your energy bill is your computers. It's it's insane. Anyway, I'm not even joking. Uh, we're going to play. New game. Uh, we could play a five... I'm going to play a four player, just because I feel that's where the, the game is at. Like, it can it can do five player, and you can do, you know, two player, whatever. But I feel the game is probably doing its best around four. Just because you've got that little bit extra space on the board, board, it doesn't, like, crowd you in. But maybe at five player, you get to fight for resources a bit more. Maybe there's more things to consider. Maybe we should play five player. And we'll put you on... You know, we'll make you... Mm, I don't want to put a medium, just in case I end up next to the medium. I'll put you on uh, hard as well. Screw it. Like, we might lose this. We're going to play as Polania, uh, just because they're my favorite faction for the, the look, the aesthetic of them. They're really badass. It's a bear. It's it's a lady with a bear, and the bear's got a uniform. It's great. Uh, play Matt random, 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 random. Undo last action. Yes. Sure. See? Told you. <gasps> what check the bear. We're mechanical. Did we have mechanical last time? Do we have engineering? I can't remember. Either way, uh, pick up two options per encounter card. That's our ability. So we can get two options for each encounter. So we will be going for encounters really fast. Probably means that we're going to be going for um, a mech early on so that we can get that plus movement bonus. Also a way to get across lakes. Neighborhood, uh, neighbor lakes, structure bonus. Number of lakes adjacent to your structures. Only count each lake once, okay. That's not that important. You get like bonus points from it. Literally, it's structure bonus. It's it's not the main way of getting points. Achieve technical mastery. Have eight or more combat cards. Have two dollars or less. At least four workers. And at least seven popularity. Roll up your sleeves, the common man. Um, we could do either of those. Having having low money is difficult. All right, Crimea industrial. Saxony, Patriot, you know, I'm actually gonna load up and check what we were last time. Nordic engine, ooh, Nordic engineering. Rusfet Agricultural. Right. We were engineering last time, right, so we can be mechanical. I was just saying if it were the same board, I'd want to change it slightly. Okay. So. Plan is start over here. We've got our village. We've got our two workers, one on food, one on wood. It's not really great. I mean, food's good for the enlist action, but our board is literally a four food for the enlist. Um, we're going to want metal. There's no question about that. But metal's up here. So we're going to want to get a way of getting across, which is going to involve metal. I think we might do a move action and then no buy. Or, ah, but we don't have any, we don't have any oil either. Oh, this is dreadful. This is not a good board for the start. So, right. What do you tend to do with your first turn? You tend to upgrade. So you tend to do something like this. This action is a really good combo uh, because you can do, I trade for oil to get oil to buy oil to do the research action which costs oil there you go done problem is we don't have any oil on this area we're gonna have to cross a river uh what else do we not have well we don't have any metal metal's gonna be here 
Yeah, that's the nearest metal. Ah, oh, this sucks. This is bad. Okay, movement. We can move in here to produce more wood. Um, yeah, so first turn action. It could be a trade. Followed by another trade. Followed by a move build. It'd be good if the other way around, but oh well. And then we could build. Or we could do a produce action. Which would get us two resources and it'd be the exact same thing. And it wouldn't cost us the gold. That's the big difference here. I think we'll do a produce action followed by a move. Followed by a produce action. Because that way we'll have three wood. Um... Oh no, we'll do the move this turn. That way we can just pile on the wood. You know what? I'm going to end move. I'm going to go back. I'm actually going to move to here so that we can make extra people. There we go. And then I can't spend wood because I have none. So end turn. Right. The Nords are interesting as well. They've got a similar dilemma in that um, they're going to have a hard time traveling from where they are. Because they've got a village, but it's over a river. Luckily, their people can travel over rivers. Yeah, you upgrade your technology. Standard opening move there. And then you're upgrading for mechs. Got to be worried about Saxony nearby. Right. We do the produce action. Now, remember, you cannot do two of the same sp spaces on your bar in a row. We could do that as Rusviet. Rusviet's special ability is you can take the same action twice in a row. We cannot. We're not Rusviet. So we've got to do a different action. So we're going to be doing this, then this, or this, then this. doesn't really matter which way we do it. Um, yeah, we'll produce more people, one wood. It's going to be a slow start. We could take the move out. Oh, no, we need the... Right. Pay for trade. I would like to get... Wood here. And then we can do the oil action. We don't have any oil. Okay. We need to get that down pretty quick. A mech already? Yeah. They paid four metal for a mech. Damn. Plus one move. Okay. Buff movement, cheaper mechs. This is going to be an interesting fight. Everyone's going for these highly mobile mech builds. Okay, our turn. Uh, we're going to go movement, then build. So, move two units. One to get the encounter. Do we move to get more wood? No, I think we stay here. Yeah. I think we're just going to end our move. Now, we get to pick two of these. Gain two food and one popularity. That's nice. Pay two to gain a work and three food. That's nice. Pay two popularity to build one structure. That's really nice. Uh, these are great. I mean, I hate picking popularity. Popularity for two is worth more than two of anything else. 
pay two dollars for a work and three food is also really really good but straight up a popularity accept a new worker yes take and then we get another one because we're Polania. What structures are there? Uh, popularity Monument. Um, armory. Nah, it's power. Uh, windmill. Cancels the worker but can't be moved. If we gain another food, we can do the enlist action. I think we'll go for that. I think the enlist action is going to be really worthwhile. I mean, I, I like the structure, but we're about to build a structure anyway. I'm just going to go for the food. And then, structure. And we're going to use the mine to be able to travel to any tunnel. We could build the mine here, we could build it here. I'm going to build it here just because our character's here, it'll save us a move. Here would be slightly more beneficial, because that way it's next to this lake. And remember the lake bonus. But here we'll be next to this lake, just that we'll be around this lake a lot. Uh, so we're going to take the mine. We gain two coin from that. Now remember, because of the fact we use movement this turn, we can't use movement next turn. So we're going to have to go for something like a, maybe a trade or probably a production into an enlist. Which is going to mean that we're going to have a lot of people. A lot. Because we're going to get another three. So every time we take the production from then on, we'll be losing out on popularity. At the moment, we're going to be losing out on power. Yeah, so notice how they don't have a village here. They have one here and they have one here, but there's a river in the way. Our turn. Can't take the move action. So what we will do is we'll take the production action. That's a lot of people. Hopefully we'll be able to take them across to here and uh, go for this mine. I mean, we could head over here and just like get a crap ton of oil out of the ground. We'd have to defend it. Whereas here we can go into this. Remember, encounters for us are amazing. Our encounters are the lifeblood. And I feel we need that plus move from here. So we'll take the enlist action. At four, it's expensive, but people are going to be doing a lot of upgrades, and that gives us power. Not so many buildings at this point in the game. There will be a couple, but enlist, combat cards. I that's fine, especially because we know we'll be taking over enlist, which will also trigger our enlist ability. But I'm going to say we probably just want to go for the upgrades because we know people will be spamming upgrades. Um, we, ooh, what do we want to go for? Our combat cards that we've got are pretty crap. We've got two, a three, and a three. Our power is low, but we'll be getting power anytime anyone upgrades. Popularity is always a good option. I'm going to say popularity. Just based on the fact that we might not be getting that much of it soon. Because notice now we've got so many workers, we're actually going to lose out on popularity. That's an upgrade. So we're going to get power. Oh, hello. A double move coming in. If you're upgrading to get extra move actions. Yeah, if we upgrade, it's either going to be production or move. And then the bottom bar, it's going to be technology. Unless something else desperately appears. So we're taking the move action, we're not going to buy anything this turn, but we want to be able to move to here and then start producing on this. Um, so I don't think I want to breed any more units because if we do, we start losing a gold, which isn't actually the worst. Maybe we will leave someone back here. The alternative is we trade to get two more wood and that way Yeah, if we trade to get two more wood, next turn when we move, we can do a build action. And we can build to get the windmill, the monument, which is when you bolster power, 
and the armory, which is when you use the trade action, you gain power. I mean, we'll probably be trading at some point because it leads into this, which is a research action. So it gives us a free power every time. And it's probably going to be the one more just because it means more production. So trade, move, then use the wood to build a windmill on here. I'm digging this. Okay, we're going to trade. And we're going to grab wood here. That's upgrades. No? Okay. You've got so much oil. Okay. So we take the move action. You can't transport people. Oh, that sucks. So only mechs can do that. Okay. One. Two. Build. Confirm. Ooh, and what do we go for? It's got to be the mill. Uh, mill, 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 mill. Our lack of upgrades is really going to kill our early game. Trading, you then you up. Great, no? Sitting on six oil. That's a lot of oil to sit on. Wow, okay. Yeah, you've got the ability to river walk, so you'll now be moving into the board. Right, I really wish I could take the move action, because I'd move an extra person in here, and next time I produce, we'd have enough for a mech. Instead, um, and I'd be able to move on to this encounter. Uh, Instead, we could take produce as an action. I don't really rate it. Um, could take trade, get a metal. Next time we take a produce, we'll be okay. I think we've got to take trade. Just that one metal so that when we produce, we can get another metal. And maybe we can start on our oil supply or something. And I'll probably put the mech here, so that the mech can then go to here and gain us some um, oil. Is there another option? Because I'm not seeing one. Yeah, I'm going to take trade. And it's going to be one metal. And then... I'll just take three there, one through that. Yeah, so we won't need oil. What about food? We could take a food. We could take a wood. I'm gonna take an extra metal. Just in case for now. We'll probably spend it. And I can't use the oil bloody. Trading. Ah, so you river walked over there, grab those two metal, get the encounter. We really need our encounters. Ah, silly me. We could have taken the move action this time, then produce next time. We'd also get that encounter as well. So if we move, we can get on there. We can also get someone to here. We can then produce a lot of metal. It doesn't waste our production so much. Yeah. So 
So move to here. You move to here. Offer to translate for the locals. Gain two oil and one popularity. Should have gone for an oil. If I... Ah! If I'd gone for an oil last turn, this two oil would get me enough. Pay four dollars to deploy a mech. Uh, hi there. Yes. Done. Pay two popularity to gain a worker and three oil. Done. I'm doing both of these. So we're gaining a mech. Uh, we're gaining plus one speed. Camaraderie in combat. Do not lose popularity when forcing opponents and workers to retreat. Ooh. Submerge. Move to and from lakes. Riverwalk. Move across rivers to mountains. I've got I've got the, the thing here set up. Um, by the way, I want to point out submerge. Move to and from lakes. This mech submerging under the water and then you're just sitting on the shoreline and this mech comes out of the water. That'd be... Oh, that's going to be badass. All right, we're going to go speed. And we're going to deploy... Can we only deploy that? Oh, we have to deploy that because of the card. Okay, that's a shame. And then we'll pay to popularity. Intent... Inten intentionally mistranslate to rile up the people and seize control of the oil refinery. We're going to be the bad guys. Accept a new worker. Take the oil. Oh, yeah. And we're now maxed out on workers, I think. Yeah, we've got eight. Which means we've got a gold star for it. And we've not got enough wood. We could totally move our leader to there. Get those resources, get the event. I really want to do it. We've taken the move action already. Can't take it this turn. Okay. Right. They're making plays. That is a tunnel, which means that they can attack this tunnel directly from there. There's two metal there. I'm not defending it. That's an issue. That means I can't really take the produce action, because if I take the produce action, that'll be another three metal, that'll be five metal. They will attack that without even blinking. And I can't take the move action, because we took that last turn. So I can't produce right now, because if I do, they're just going to kill us. So we're going to take a um, trade action. We're going to trade for metal. It's a bit weird. Um, the alternative is we could go for something like... Oil? Maybe one oil, one metal? Yeah, one oil, one metal will actually work for us. Because then we'll gain oil here if we produce here. So I'm going to go metal, oil. Then we're going to pay to upgrade. And 100% uh, we're paying to upgrade this. But firstly, do we want to get produce three or move three? I think the extra move, to be honest. Yeah. If you don't defend that, I can move people there. There's no event there, though. Boss to power, followed by an upgrade. Yeah, they've got really cheap mechs. One metal. Oh, no! What's the score at? Paying for another mech? Bloody hell! We're in middle. Saxon is winning based on basically money. Straight up. Cash. We've got two. Which actually puts us very close to triggering one of our abilities. I need seven popularity. Okay. So not quite. Okay. Uh, what can we do this turn? Move. Uh, produce. Can't take the produce because they will murder us. Um, deploy a mech. I think deploy a mech might also be the right choice. Got enough money here for it. And then we can move these people because we can deploy the mech here. Yes. So we will take the... You know, I'm going to probably want a combat card. 
It's a two. Great. Ugh. And then... Riverwalk. Move across rivers to villages or mountains. Uh, is that good in our position? It matters to move to here. Nowhere else really. At least in the vicinity. Submerge allows us to move to and from lakes. Like, we can straight up go blip, blip. If we have a two move, which we do. Blip, blip. Blip, blip. Blip, blip. I think lakes is a good choice, just because there are a few lakes here. Camaraderie, do not lose popularity when enforcing enemy workers to retreat. Uh, that's good. Because we can go blip, blip, if we have the lake thing, obviously. Um, I think for now we'll go... Lake thing. And we'll go there. Because there's nothing here for them to attack. Like, they will get to claim the windmill. They don't get to use it. It just stops me using it if they attack me through the tunnels. But if they've got a way to attack here, we're going to want that. That's a lot of oil. And the upgrade. Popularity. Cheap buildings. Okay. At least our power reserves kept high, which means that we get a pretty good defense against anyone attacking us. That's a lot of mechs on the board. They can now travel to and from the factory, which means they're probably going to claim the factory and get the first factory card. I was hoping it would be us, but... Now, we're going to be taking the movement action. I'm almost certain of that. And we'll move this mech through to here, this mech through to here, but carrying people. And then our leader can travel either through here to any other tunnel. So here, and we can grab these resources. That's a good amount of resources to grab, straight up. That amount of resources is totally worth claiming, but we would miss out on this encounter. And we would be attacked, probably. Uh, we'd lose a popularity if we forced them to retreat. Totally worth it. Because that amount of resources right in front of you is just juicy. Yeah, we're going to take a movement action. Uh, you are going to come here. <coughs> you! Oh. You are going to transport all the workers we have. And hell, transport the food as well. I think I cocked that up. Yeah, and move. You actually want to be here. We're not going to have anything here other than the mine. We need to defend where we're producing our steel. So uh, we're going to end your move. Then we're going to get you to transport all the people. Why do you have eight people on board? Then go to here. What have I done? Have I broken it somehow? Somehow I've managed to pick up people from the different tile. Oh, I've managed to find a bug. Interesting. Please tell me there's a quick save. Okay, reloading that saved work uh, because we have auto saves, which Ah, oh, just so good. This is why I love all this. Is. Right. Move action. You are coming here to defend these people. 
then you are going to load up every single worker and one food. And you're going to travel here. Then take on board two more. Mm, three more. Yeah, three more. And take the food as well. And come to here. Now the question is... Do we send our leader... Oh, it was an encounter token. Or do we grab these resources? Because they're so good! Like, ah, uh, these resources... Promise they'll probably attack me. Look, do they have... They've got six power, they've got one combat card. Oh, I mean, our combat cards are pretty bad. <sighs> Straight up, we could go right through here and be like, yoink, my resources, mate. Do we know if they've got river walk? This is the Riverwalk one. There is a way to see River. There we go. They can walk to mountains and woods, which means they can't actually get to us if we do that. I would feel sorry, but I don't. Our popularity is in dire straits after that. Now, Rusfiat doesn't need the factory move. That's the second ability on every factory card very much, because Rusfiat can just take the move actions over and over and over again. We need that, because we need to be able to... Why did they build a mine on top of a tunnel? They literally do the same thing. Anyway, Rusfiat doesn't need the factory move. We do, because if we want to like move and then move again, we have to use uh, the factory move. There's no way for us to do a move move. Rusfiat can do the move action, which gives him multiple moves. Uh, our turn, we're gonna go, because I really want the technology. We could go trade or popularity technology. Um, Yeah, trade for food, and that way when we do the produce action, we can do the enlist action afterwards, if we decrease the cost of that. So, trade. I would like to trade for food. So... Technology. We're going to decrease the cost of the enlist action. One, two, three. And spending their oil makes it so much better. Um, we could increase produce as well. I'm thinking popularity, because we're going to need popularity. There we go. Five oil. Okay. They went monument. I really think I just need to get that factory card going for the extra move. Because we could get to the factory this turn. Yeah, they did it. They attacked the tunnel with your mine on it. Why did you put a mine on a tunnel?
Now, no, Saxony, ah, Saxony can't attack here. Aha! Okay, we could go straight up here and just go like, bam, I need the factory card. But honestly, I want to do production. Um, the factory card would be like, great, we've got more options, and then we'd have to come back over here for this event. Yeah, it's going to be a produce. It's going to take us to zero popularity. And we're going to produce here. Here. And here. And then we're going to enlist. And now, what do we think? Nords haven't deployed any mechs, but that's money. We don't really need money. Popularity from building is great. I think we're going to go popularity from building. Combat cards we could do uh, just because we have a load of terrible ones. But I think we need the popularity. And I'm going to take the plus two combat cards. Please be good. Really? Were they were two and a three? They were two and a three. They were two and a three. Or were they, were they two twos? I don't know. It was terrible cards, whatever. Ugh. Not having good luck. Okay, you're sending that guy to claim that oil, but not protecting him? Yeah, Nords are difficult to play. Because you can't really send any mechs of them unless you upgrade your mech, so you can't really do anything like moving unless you get a mine. And they're taking the ability for workers can move across rivers, and they're sending them over naked. And sure, everyone who attacks them is going to lose a popularity, but sometimes it's so worth it. Like, three oil, I'd fight for that. Hella did fight for that, plus three other resources. Okay. Anytime anyone takes the upgrade next to you, which is going to be me. We could take popularity, oil, but I really want to take that move. Yeah, I'm gonna take the move. Oh, no, I don't want to. I want to take the resources with me. Bye-bye. Can't lose in popularity, don't have any. And then I'm also gonna send... Can you not move two? Oh, it's only, only, ah. Right. Only mechs and characters can move two. I was gonna move you one, two, but I can't. Is there any way to do it? Because I can move the mech over here, but then the mech can't get back. Because I was gonna claim this wood here and be like, great, we can produce some resources in this wood. Um. I could run the mech over here, but it won't get back to defend these guys. This mech could move to here to defend these guys. That kind of works. And I can ease up on the oil production anyway. Ah, uh, but I might want to get food for the enlist actions. The Nords have no way of attacking us just yet. I'm going to take two people. And I think we'll travel to here. Screw we could take three and just be like, screw it, food! Dump him. You know what? Give me... Three people? I'll take two people. And then just move back. There we go. We've got food covered. Uh, we could go and get some wood if we need it. I'm actually going to hold off for now. 
I think what we'll do is we'll start moving you. But the thing is, you can't take resources with you. We have to give it that one word, which I don't really want to. Arr! We could leave this naked, but I don't want to leave this naked. Someone will definitely come for this. Um, unless we take the stuff with us. Just leave it as like, hey, there's like two dudes here. It's an option. Because if we upgrade our mechs, that metal is enough to build two more mechs. And then the metal is just score, uh, for scoring points. It does nothing. So... If we move you... And we grab, say... Two workers. And travel to here. Oh, no. I meant to take... Undo. Meant to take the food with me. The metal, sorry. Alright, do that again. Bye. Uh, then you grab, how many was it? Two? I think it's two. Because we've already got two food here. Yeah. And you know what? I'll take... No, I won't take the food we've got. Dump them. Move back. You grab... There we go. Grab the resources. Right, encounter! Observe a child again will gain a combat card in popularity. Pay two to gain three popularity. And then I could pay to probably like to gain four wood. We could do it in that order. Ooh. I don't know if I actually want to go for that, though. Gain one combat card of popularity. It was a two. Of course it was a two. And pay two to gain three popularity. Right. Done. If we'd have gone for the wood, though, we could have then built a building immediately. Because of the actions. But... C'est la vie. Okay. Enlisting. We should probably enlist the enlist. Because I feel that people are going to start enlisting around us who haven't already. Love to attack here. Fire resource. Ah, no, they've got a mech. They have a mech. I could attack here. It's not defended. Oh! Aggressive plays. They knock them out. They didn't upgrade. They've got double mech here, which means that they could double mech attack anywhere. And remember, you can move twice. I think they've got that now. Because they can move here and then here. Or I believe they can move to forest, so they can move here and then here. They could be targeting our resources, which is what I'm afraid of. So I can't really take the produce action. I don't really want to take an extra mech action, but I might need the extra mech. Like, they are right on our doorstep. Do they have power to carry that out? They've got four power, eight combat cards. Oh, yeah, they could beat us based on combat cards. They won't know what combat cards we've got. But Saxony right next door is not a fun prospect. Hmm. I think this is probably a good place to put a cut in. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have liked and not subscribed, please consider subscribing. This has been a sponsored video for as much digital. There is a link down below. You can follow to find out more about the game. I'll get the game. Um, this is going to be tough. What's the current scoreboard standing? We're in fourth. Saxony's top. Based on money again. 24 coin. That's why. 
They've just been hoarding their money. Oh, and they've got a lot of ham. That's not good. They've got four stars already. What? Two combat stars. Uh, their own objective. And having max technology. They could straight up just sprint the end here. And we would lose. We need to get a couple stars of our own. Because they're worth a load of points. And probably sprint popularity. We can take the popularity action now and then spend for technology. I think that's what we're going to have to do, but that'll be next episode. This could well disappear. They could probably clean out in a couple of turns if they try for it. Let's see what happens. I've been Erelysium. Until next time. Which will actually not be a sponsored video, but I will continue this. Stay shiny.